Uh, hey everyone, I'm uh, Addie Wagonicht. I'm one of the co-leads of our Ecological Association, and I'm also in the Network Goods Network Funding Team for Protocol Labs. Uh, so I'm here to talk briefly about the IPFS Fund. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, uh, for the last two years, the IPFS Fund has been actively working to drive transformation of the IPFS infrastructure on pri kind of from like the reliance of primary implementations to implementations that meet the needs of the growing and scaling community. So artists, people in InfoSec, uh, developers, people developing in IoT uh, space, Raspberry Pi, that sort of stuff. Uh, the fund looks basically to catalyze and accelerate the development of IPFS implementation and ensure uh, high impact teams working with IPFS build and grow. So we are like a really high risk, high return for developers, artists, infosec, um, inf infrastructure, so on and so forth. And we've, we've already committed a significant amount of money and tokens uh, to raising and building out the IPFS community. And we're uh, looking for additional funding for the following years. So if any of you are bored and rich, uh, feel free to reach out to me or say hi. Um, our cohort, with a special thanks to Dietrich, Mosh, Juan, and Molly for their inputs and expertise. Uh, this is sort of where we were focusing for our initial build out was like large infrastructure, new infrastructure, uh, building out communities. So we have things like uh, Chromium integration, peer-to-peer -peer secure storage, uh, integration of IPFS to Unreal and Unity, Go implementation, uh, Rust, and so on and so forth. Um, and then just to like look at kind of uh, deciphering or uh, looking at kind of a larger project, one is 3S. Uh, I don't think they're here right now, but if you're not familiar with them, they're a game development studio. Uh, they built basically an Unreal uh, Unity plugin. So the cool thing about this is that you can generate pack files uh, with the pack loader automation run them, mount them um, dynamically in runtime, which means you can basically organize any of your games by assets, like folder types. It allows you to make a super centralized distribution build. Uh, and with IPFS, obviously, you can share content just by sharing the CIDs. So there's like a massive potential for gaming to be uh, built like interoperably in the sense that you can have a full stack of, say, buildings or morphing characters stored as JSON uh, data on IPFS. So this is something that really allows people to share, basically by um, the render target, allows people to share things like textures or complex models, so on and so forth, between games that are being developed. And this is like a, a really major thing for people that have worked in game development, as we all kind of know this is like one of the hard things to solve, and they've been trying to solve that. And so when they built this plugin, they were building this because they needed the infrastructure for their own game development, and it didn't exist. And so IPFS Fund, along with Dietrich and Mosh, Juan, Molly, we were sort of looking at ways to um, increase adoption, and we thought this was a really interesting way to go about that. Uh, IPFS is obviously something that's really important in the gaming, future of gaming, future of Web 2, into Web 3 integrations. And so they built this plugin because they needed it for their own game development. And in the last two months alone, they've had about 15,000 installations. Um, and then just a little bit about our team uh, before we start going into awards. Uh, Archaeological is basically uh, leading the IPFS fund, OPEX, financial, legal needs. And the concept of Archaeological was basically built out so that there's no central point of ownership. So it's sort of like a DAO, but it's like actually recognized by governments and financial institutions. And so it makes it easier for us to navigate those complex hierarchies and systems. Uh, because we have no one that controls the ownership, uh, we basically look to deploy um, optimized tooling and infrastructure for funding with strong feedback loops. So Dietrich and Mosh, Juan and Molly have been really um, the, the drivers of the IPFS fund helping us make those decisions. And then the core team is myself, Evan, uh, Morrow, who have been tweaking and structuring the mechanics for the last year, dealing with things like banking collapses and uh, exchange collapses. <laughs> and so our background is like a mix of research, open hardware. I was in open hardware for about 10 years, developing out a lot of open hardware systems, protocols, um, anything that you need around Raspberry Pi or Arduino, I'm happy to build that out for you. <laughs> Uh, Evan's obviously been leading out research, and Mauro was the head of uh, CEO for blockchain uh, at Crypto Bitcoin Swiss. 
Um, and then before we announce the winners, this is something that uh, we've all been sort of working on in the side. It's like some, it's a little bit of alpha before uh, we get into the rest of this. Uh, so what, one of the things I've been wanting to work on is like solving essentially in 2023 uh, on-chain mechanisms for proactive real-time distribution of funding allocation. Uh, having worked in open hardware and open source, one of the major issues is retroactive funding because you still need the runway to basically build out your ideas and no one wants to necessarily fund open source, although there are some like key angels in there. Uh, so I was looking at ways that we could have people who are already doing things with their tokens. Phil, for example, is what we're looking and using right now with GILF. Um, this allows you to allocate some of the return you get on staking or different pooling mechanisms into public goods in things like IPFS and the Filecoin uh, FEM community. And so I started uh, working on this. It's on the hyperspace, hyperspace testnet. If anyone wants to like hammer break a smart contract, I would love to put you on the multi-sig and just send you some faucet fill and see if we can break it together. Uh, but we're looking at sort of making this so it proactively funds all of your projects and allows you to get distributions automatically, transparently on chain, because I think that's the future of funding. Uh, I'm also working on things like governance mechanisms with quadratic voting and introducing impact certificates and impact evaluators on chain so that all of that can be transparently tracked and there's a lot less bureaucracy and red tape and delays and all that stuff that isn't sexy and no one wants to talk about. So that's all stuff that I've, I've been working on um, for this year and hopefully for next year. Uh, this is a little screenshot of it on testnet. Uh, once again, if you want to test it, I'm thrilled to have you do that. Uh, bonus points if you break it. And then I uh, want to switch really quickly because I think I'm already out of time on the IPFS Community Impact Awards. I don't know if Dietrich, you want to come up here and like jazz it up also with me. But these are awards that are uh, every six months. They're, project, uh, they're projects that are crowdsourced by the community and voted. So we want to say congratulations to the 28 winners. Uh, really special thanks to all the people that submitted projects. So this fund only goes to projects that are submitted. So thank you for finding the projects that matter to you and adding them. These were not curated by this team or protocol labs or the fund. These were projects submitted by you. Some of these projects are you. So <laughs> thank you for submitting. Thank you also to everybody who voted. We're going to be doing this regularly. Yeah, we'll be releasing them every six months and we'll do it. Uh, I'll try to like really spray the news across every channel we've got. So just check out Discord, Slack, Telegram, Twitter, whatever you got. Uh, we'll let you know about the voting and submissions because the more of you that contribute, the more um, exciting this will get. So thanks everybody and congratulations. And thank you for working in this and building the things that you build because it gives us something to reward so you can do more of it.